Hello guys, good day. So, ito pala yung first part ng tutorial natin about sa uh, statics of rigid bodies. So, pag-uusapan natin is about sa statics of particles, force on a particle resultant of two forces. So, sa topic natin ngayon, ipapakita ko yung step-by-step -step method or process. Then, of course, ipapakita natin yung shortcut method by using calculator. Okay, let's start. Uh, let's have a sample problem. The two forces P and Q act on the bolt A. Determine the resultant. So, pag resultant, so kailangan natin yung R. Then, of course, the angle from the x-axis. From the x positive x-axis. Okay, isang method na gagamitin natin is by formulating a triangle. So, kung naalala ninyo, uh, for example nito, si P to si P, so ikukunik ko yung tail ni Q sa head ni P. to, Then ikukunik ko, um, wait lang, wait lang. Ito, ito dapat. Then ikukunik ko yung tail ni P sa head ni Q. Which is, ito na yung resultant na hanapin natin. Tapos, yung theta na hanapin natin or yung angle, that is from the X, ito, X axis kasi ito eh. From the x, uh, positive x axis to the resultant. Ito yung hanapin nating angle. Okay. So, pag i-formulate natin yan, ito magiging result. So, ang kailangan ko lang, ang kailangan natin hanapin dyan is yung angle ng B, angle ng A, then yung R. Tapos, of course, yung, ito, yung angle from the horizontal axis. Okay, so, paano ko hanapin si B? Of course, uh, kapag i-project ko to, yung 25 degrees na yan, so, 180 yan. So, 180 minus 25, kaya makakuha ko si 155. So, ito. Ito na yan. So, paano naman makukuha natin si resultant? Of course, by cosine law. Kung naalala ninyo yan. So, diba yung cosine law? Si squared is equals to i squared plus b squared minus 2 ab times cosine c. Yun. Which is yung c. That is the opposite angle of c. Uh, C side. Okay, let's continue. Pero sa sample na to, bali yung kukunin natin yung resultant, R squared of, uh, is equals to P squared plus Q squared minus 2 times PQ times cosine B. Yung B natin, which is the opposite ng resultant. Kaya yun ang ilalagay natin. Then substitute natin yung mga value. R squared is equals to 40 squared plus 60 squared minus 2 times 40 times 60 times cosine 155. Ilan yan? So, yung magiging result nyan is 97.73. Uh, uh, ipakita natin yung uh, manual. Okay. So, from this given equation, pwede natin i-type muna natin yung 40 squared uh, plus 60 squared. Okay, so sa pag-input natin sa angle, kailangan nakadegree kayo. Kasi degree yung angle natin. Huwag yung i-re-read -re So, 60 cosine 155. Okay, so ito yun. 950. So, R squared. So, to 950. Uh, 9,550.2774. So, kapag i-square natin, square root natin yan, yung 95550.27, so makukuha natin, ilan yung sagot natin? Ito yun. So, let's check. So, ito, square root ko na lang, answer. So, 97.755. So, round up natin si 2 to 3. So, up to decimal places tayo. So, kaya nakuha natin to Okay, so sa ngayon naman, kunin natin si, si, si yung angle from the 
X from the past the big success. So, counterclockwise rotation. Okay, paano natin yan kukunin? So, ito, by using sine law. Ngayon kasi, nakuha na natin si R. So, for example, uh, sa triangle na to. Ito si R. Ito si 155. Ito si Q. Tapos, ito si A. Yung Yung sinasabing sine law, ito yung ratio ng uh, sine angle over the length of the side. For example, R, or balik tari natin, sine of B is to the opposite R, equal siya sa sine of A over the opposite side, which is Q. Actually, pwede yan magkabaliktad. Maging R over sine B is equals to Q over sine A. Pero kasi yung hinahanap natin yung beta, so mas madaling isolve kapag nasa numerator yung unknown. Okay. Let's continue. So ito yung mangyayari. Magiging sine A over 60, yung Q, 60 newton, is equals to sine 55 over 97.73 newton. Then, Diba, ano lang yan eh. Sabi natin, sine A. Cross multiplication lang yan. So, magiging 60 sine 115, uh, 155 over 97.73. Then, A natin, apply natin si arc sine. So, 60. Ah, hindi ako marunong magsalat. Okay, sine 155 over 97. Yan, para makuha natin si angle A. Okay, so yung si angle A na yan, hindi pa yan yung angle na hinahanap natin. So, magpa-plus pa tayo ng 20 para makuha natin yung total angle from the past big success. Okay, solve natin by using calculator. Okay. So, arc sine of yan, 60 sine 155 over 97.73 equals so 15 degrees 0 0.04 so 15 degrees 0 0.04 or, or Actually, pwede yan, idiritso na lang ninyo. Ganyan na. Ganito, guys. Sine of x. Pero, check natin kung kaya ng calculator. 60. Is equals sa sine 155. Over 97.73. Shift calc. So, nag sabi dito, solve for x. Tapos may value. Uh, normally, nagbibigay kami or ako ng value of 10. Kasi, nakalinyar lang naman yan eh. So, actually, kahit anong value yan. Then, equals to, ito na, yung sagot. Which is tama yung sagot natin. 15.038. So, money money. Okay, let's continue. So, ito na yung A natin. 15.04. So, para makuha natin yung alpha, ito yung alpha na yan eh. Ito na yung hinahanap nating alpha. Yan. So, 20 plus A is equals to 20 degrees plus 15.04 degrees. So, ito yung magiging resulta natin. Ito na yung sagot. So, 97.73 newton na resultant at a location of 35.04 degrees from the uh, passive x-axis. So, counterclockwise rotation. Yan. Actually, pwede rin, ano, uh, clockwise rotation. Pero, dito ka na magagaling. Dito ka na. Ganyan. So, 360 minus 35. Yun na yun yung counterclockwise mo. Same lang yan. Okay. So, sa ngayon naman, ipapakita natin yung pinaka-mabilis na solution. 
using calculator. Okay. Ito na yung pinaka-excited na ano, moment. Okay. So, sa ngayon, kailangan lang natin i-set yung calculator natin sa complex. So, click ninyo si mode. Then, 2. Mode to tayo. Okay. Uh, kahit hindi na tayo gumamit ng papel, ito lang yung tingnan natin. So, sa ngayon, i-type natin si 40. Then, angle niya from the X axis. So, shift. Ito yung angle. Uh, ito. Yun, angle na yan. So, bali, shift. Ito. Then, 20 degrees. Plus, yung 60 newton na Q natin. Then, shift angle. Okay. Ah, sorry. Shift angle. Yung angle natin, dapat, i-plus natin si 20, tapos si 25. Kasi, kailangan natin yung total angle from the x-axis. Counterclockwise. So, bali magiging 20 plus 25. Or, pwede ninyo actually, diritsa na lang sa 45. Pero, para sa para makita ninyo, pwede yan, 20 plus 25. Then, equal. So, makikita ninyo, ito yung uh, component. Itong component ni resultant. So, yung result natin is 80.014 plus 56.107i. So, para i-convert yan into result and tapos degree. So, click lang nun yung shift. Then, 2 kasi complex yan. Ito, complex. So, shift, 2. 2. Then, i-click ninyo si 3. RT. Ta ibig sabihin, result and tapos yung theta. Then, 3. Then, equals. So, ito na yung sagot natin. No sweat. <laughs> so, 97.73. So, exacto to. Kasi, 0.7255. So, niran up lang natin. Then, yung degree natin is 35.038 or 0.034. Ah, uh, 0.04. So, yun lang. Napakadali, guys. So, hopefully, i-allowed pa yung 570 na calculator sa ano, board exam. So, uh, pag-aalam ko kasi yung ano, 9 and 1 ES pa lang yung nababan sa PRC. Okay, so yun lang guys for now. Kung may mga comments kayo, please comments below. Then, you can also PM me if you, uh, kung gusto ninyo, if you like. Okay, so, yun lang guys. Kung gusto ninyo mag-join uh, sa FB group ko sa Arts Academia, search na lang ninyo. Sa Arts Online Tutorials, then sa Arts RHC Gaming. Uh, search na lang ninyo sa Facebook. Okay, yun lang guys. Then don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And thank you and God bless guys.